Calimera Cadets. It's your host, Cadet Uribe, and my co-host, Cadet Caldwell. And this is the Flycast. The Flycast consists of us talking to the seniors, um, you know, them talking to us about their experience within ROTC, maybe even outside of ROTC, and, you know, letting us know how they came to be the person that they are today. Today's guest is Cadet Walter. All right, Walter, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm Kid at Walter, I don't know. Uh, I work for my grandpa, I do like sinks, countertops, stuff like that. Okay, cool. cool. So let's kind of get into the, the juicy stuff here. All right, so let's kind of talk about what made you decide to join JROTC um, and what were your motivations to stay? Okay, so ever since I was young, maybe like second grade, uh, I wanted to go into the military, uh, into the Air Force specifically. And so really, eighth grade when I came into the uh, the club fair, I just kind of saw RTC and went, yep, <laughs> yep, that's yep. what I want to do. All right. And then, yeah, so what motivated nice. you to stay here? Because you've been here all four years, right? Yeah. I mean, that, and then also, like the people. The people? Yeah, the people, the events. Yeah, it's been fun, man. <laughs> <laughs> Senior club. Um, so, what what was your first impression with an ROTC? Like your like the um, atmosphere of it. Uh, my very first impression. I was scared because <laughs> it was Master Sergeant. Oh. Uh, Master Sergeant Newton. Newton. Yeah. What he just came in and with the uh, <laughs> with a drill sergeant cap. And started yelling at us. Whoa. I wasn't there for that, but <laughs> I wish I was. I um, mean, that's what I thought it was going to be like, honestly. Because I didn't really look into the club. But mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, like, let's see. Because um, I remember, you, how, how were you, like, as a person, freshman year? Because I honestly know how you were. But for the people that don't really know you, because I'm pretty sure you're, you're pretty close with, like, lots of um, people now. But they don't really know how you were when you were, like, a freshman. So let, let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, I mean, it was pretty, pretty quiet. I, I mean, yeah, pretty introverted, freshman year. So let's, um, so when did you, like, start getting out of your shell? Like, what, what helped that, what helped you get out of your shell and start talking more? So, it was, it kind of started freshman year. I started going to a few events and, like, talking to people. But then, it was really sophomore year when I started, like, going out and actually talking to people because let's see freshman year I had an A hour mm -hmm. so I'd go to that and then sophomore year maybe like second quarter I started coming here for mornings so yeah. um how would you say like JRTC has helped you kind of bring yourself out more like do you think JRTC helped you or did you think it was something else that helped you or what would you say uh, I think it was like everyone inside JOTC specifically. Okay. Yeah. Um, when you, what was your first position? Because you've had a multiple positions, like I, I would say after freshman year. So, like, what was your first position, and how did you make? How did it make you feel? My first position was, let's see, Cyber Patriot NCO. And how yeah. how was that feeling of you getting that? I mean. Kind of underwhelming, actually. Underwhelming. I mean, honestly. Really? Yeah. Cause I mean, by that point, I figured I was gonna get it. Hmm. Mm. Okay. So. And like, yeah, you don't really do too much as a cyber patriot too, honestly. Mm, that is true. Cause it's only for like a little bit, like of a time. Yeah, especially like in the past when we yeah. didn't do anything so much. But so, what? What? You were the NTO. What year? Sophomore year? That was. Yeah. So, year. but that was like around the time where you guys were actually doing really good with the same picture, right? Like you guys were going to competitions yeah. and like you guys were doing really well. So tell me a little bit about that. Like, how was the experience of you going into Cyber Patriot and like actually doing the competitions themselves? So, um, it felt kind of like hanging out with everyone because mm -hmm. we were all just like in that room working on this. And I mean, it got really tiring, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> And uh, it just, it's nice to get like closer to everyone. Okay. So I know this year things kind of change up a little bit. Like you 
started introducing like the video editing and like the coding and stuff so um how do you think like do you think cyber patriot will continue being like it was in the past or do you think that'll it'll start moving how do you think cyber patriot will start kind of moving in the future i hope it'll keep moving as it is now and like expanding but i don't even know who the uh, the commander is honestly next year i don't either <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i don't know um what was your favorite experience with an rotc like your favorite event overall and why i'd say nhra sophomore year yeah the one where he got rained up oh yeah yeah why yeah. specifically that one yeah like, well, why wouldn't it be junior year whenever we actually got to watch everything well because sophomore year it was just kind of i don't know we just kind of like hung out that is felt true. like we were just Sort it was like, you it was us right it was you me yeah more was it more yeah there's quite a bit of people but like i remember that like really like it, it sucked because we yeah. couldn't see the like, drag race but like you know honestly it was such a cool experience because it was like nice out and like arizona we never get rain or anything so like it was nice and gloomy and then like we were like eating what like ramen or not ramen no. we were eating like chow mein or something because there's like this like asian or place and like i got food from there that was really good um yeah even though there was no drag races just us hanging out as like you know friends i think that was like worth yeah it was, that was worthwhile in my opinion that was really fun yeah. so um before we kind of like start winding down let's start talking like like what would be the biggest piece of advice that you could give to anyone coming into jrtc or even maybe like next year's seniors like this year's juniors like what would be the biggest piece of advice that you can give to anybody so i'd say to take advantage of what's there like the events just like the time that you have okay just to uh, kind of take advantage of everything that there is to <laughs> offer yeah and no that's so true though because like we do like rsc itself i've said this many times like we have so many things to offer but people just don't look at it or they take advantage of it in like the wrong way where they would like, they won't try with an RTC, but they'll go to events or they'll go to color guards and stuff like that. Like he's not saying like take advantage like that, but like be like cool about it. Like actually do the work to do those things. For example, NHRA, you know, yeah, you need good grades to go there, but if you're just gonna go there to just go, it's like, man, might as well not even go and not get anything from it. like. Go there for a reason, you know? Go there because you want to learn about things. Go there because you want to, like, actually, you know, learn something. Because if you're just going there because you just don't want to be in school, then, man, there's no, yeah. It's not, it's not, that's not a good thing. So I say go there, you know, to learn something about it, not just to, like, just go. But, um, yeah, do you, do you, is there anything else you want to say? Like, you know, any other great experiences with an ROCC that you've had? Um, Want last minute additions. Give a shout out to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Okay, well well, he's not really a talkative guy as you guys can see, but um, you know, um it was great having you. We we all love you, like we all honestly know how you are and um you know this is kind of like a out of the blue type thing because we literally just told him today like we we're gonna do this episode, so I don't I don't <laughs> I don't blame you, but um no guys if you guys all know him, he's a really cool guy um but yeah so that's today's podcast thank you guys for tuning in wait until next week um for our next guest and as always carry on oh, <laughs> what the